Well, the game denied me lave, but I did get Alp. So, yeah, let's get a sleepover with Alp. The This one had the load. Ugh, I'm bushed. All that extra work, all the extra work we had to do to make up for the starting late today really took a toll on me. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're falling asleep standing up, Q Sip. Silly. Don't you know that leaves you completely open? To be pranked? <laughs> uh, let's get you to bed. Yeah, we did some good work today. Though, I just didn't know making a picture put. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, we did some good work today though. I just didn't know making a picture book would require so much effort. Right? It seems like it'd be easy enough. But there are so many little details that it that it's really hard to keep your focus. I'm definitely seeing picture books in a whole new light. It's cool how studying new things changes how we see the world, huh? Ugh, I'm so pumped. I just want to party. There's no way I'm gonna be able to sleep like this. I don't know where you get the energy out. I'm <sighs> no, sleep already? Party pooper. I was actually thinking we could have a pajama party. But that's not gonna work if our third party is if a third of our party is asleep. Still, I guess he must have been really fighting to stay awake since he fell asleep the second he set his eyes on the futon. But hey, we can still hang out if you got the energy. How about it, Brandon? Yeah, let's hang out. Yay! What should we do? Any ideas? Oh. Oh, I know. Why don't we hang out in a dream? Huh? Well, really? You let me drift into your dreams again? But, I don't know. What if people's dreams connect and things spiral out of control again? I'd hate to make the same mistake twice. But that time was different, right? The classroom door wasn't closed. Well, yeah. Lave analyzed my sacred artifact when we got back and told me a bunch of things. I have to be careful. Uh, to prevent something like that from happening again. He said the reason my sacred artifact ended up affecting everyone in the, in the building was that I was aware the door was open. Apparently, that was all it took to make my rule apply to the entire school. So, if I just control everything properly, it should go fine. At least, in theory. But I mean, I've been going to other people's dreams almost every night, and I never caused an incident like that before. That's gotta count for something, right? Honestly, my confidence is shot. I still feel terrible for putting everyone through all that. Hmm. You'll be fine, huh? Come visit me in my dreams! Look. Before we do this, you should know that I have a reputation for giving people nightmares, Brandon. Having me in your dreams might not be such a good thing. Sorry, I'm not so great at this. Um, consider this a training session. You're really going to help me with all this. Alright then, let's have a fun dream together. I'll do everything I can to keep it from becoming a nightmare, okay? So please, let me into your dream, Brandon. Mm. 
Okay, I'm ready. I'll enter your dreams as soon as you fall asleep, okay? Switching dreams in reality always goes a lot smoother when my, um, target is sleeping. So, until then, good night. Switching dreams with reality, I screwed up big, that's all on me. I want to grow, grow, grow. I want to grow, grow. want to show, show. That I could do better than a dark nightmare. There's so many happy dreams I want to share. I'm going to give my friend the sweetest dream, creating a fun playground for Brandon and me. Huh? Where am I? Is this Durga's dream? That's uh, weird. We should definitely be in your dream. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, I think only the two of us are here. At least that's what my nose tells me. So why are we seeing someone else's dream? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Maybe you got influenced by Durga's Candyland dream. Like, maybe you wanted to come back and eat more sweets? Well, there's an easy way to test that theory. Let's see how this candy measures up. Um, um, whoa! It tastes exactly like it did in Durga's dream. Well, this is awkward. Now I want to taste. Hmm. Hmm. It's to die for. Right? I think I'll go for seconds. Now then. I gotta make sure you have fun to keep this from turning into a nightmare. But before that. Now that we're alone, I just wanted to say thanks, Brandon. I'm always trying so hard to look cool, you know? That's why I became a panda and learned how to dance. But thanks to you, for the first time in my life, I got a clear picture of who I am on the inside. You helped me see that my dream is my identity, that my wish to be loved by as big a crowd as possible is the core of who I am. It's kind of like you found the real me, so... so... So thank you. I'm glad I met you, Brandon. <laughs> you know, I really like all this attention. You're so nice to me. You spoiled me too much. But just let me enjoy this for a little while longer. Brandon. Uh, hey, Brandon! I hadn't realized this before, but you're so warm, and you smell amazing, too. I know I've been asked a lot. I know I've already asked a lot of you, but can we stay like this for a while? As someone who has been hated all my life, this kind of happiness is a first for me, and I... We have plenty of time before morning. Let's enjoy this while we can. Yeah, you're right. We'll make this the best dream ever. I mean, I've never done something like this before, but dreams are where I shine. So just sit back, relax, and let me show you what I can do. <laughs> oh. Huh. Oh. I can't hate Alp. 
There's nothing that would cause me to hate him. <laughs>